time for African violets. And I have a big passion for African violets. I love them. My grandparents had them. I have them. I raise them for personal enjoyment only. And uh, I even have a little tiny greenhouse that I can put some in. And I just love African violets. So I want to fill my house, decorate the inside of my house with African violets because they are just so beautiful. Okay, now these guys here I had in a room. Actually, I have them in my laundry room because there is a light bulb in there that my African violets love. I should say my baby African violets because these guys didn't like it. I thought they would enjoy being there, but look, they should be growing like a pancake. And they're trying to reach for the sun, not doing good. And if I let it go, it could actually jump out of that plant pot just about. So it was time to move my African violet. So they can continuously bloom nonstop. These guys here had a little bit rough going, and they only bloomed once for me, and uh, which is a little bit unusual. So we're going to monkey around with these guys a little bit, get them flowering, looking nice, because your African violets can just bloom and bloom and bloom. You deadhead them, you know, which means pull the flower off so that they don't go to seed and can make more. And they pretty much, you know, they'll live forever. They can be 50 years old. You can pass them on to your kids, you know, and propagating them is pretty easy. And the only thing that you need to know if you're new to African violets is you must water them from the bottom. There's other ways to water them. I mean, I put mine in the sink and pick up the leaves. But if you're new to African violets, you want to kind of water them from the bottom because if the leaves get wet, and what they really don't like is the cold water, but if the leaves get wet, they could like kind of die, look like they're dying off and that'll be the end of the plants and there goes your African violet. <laughs> they're kind of fussy like that, but they're not really fussy plants. That's about the only thing they don't like. Um... Mine have done great. I've I've used a garden compost outside to grow them in. I've used, you know, African violet soil. I mean, pretty much they take a lot of abuse. And the secret with these guys is these guys are about the only plant that really live really good in my house, which is wonderful because I want to fill my house with African violets because I love them. And it's fun to collect containers to put them in. This container here is really old. I've had this. Oh my goodness, I've had this Af this African I've had this pot since I've been a kid. And uh, this one here was an old bowl I have found, you know, that was an old dinner bowl. Three of them broke, or one of them broke, or a plate broke, or something. And, you know, I got it at the dollar store, so it worked out good for me. And uh, there's tons of African violets you can choose from. And to buy the fancy ones, you have to go online and the other, you know, the, the more of the common ones, you can just pick them up at the grocery store for like four bucks. Um, I can't really recommend a place to you guys right now to buy one because I haven't, uh, you know, worked with any um, company that I can say, oh, yeah, that's the company to buy from yet um, if you want to buy specialty ones. But they have a lot on eBay. You know, you can check out eBay. But uh, I usually just pick them up at the grocery store. And, uh, you know, when I go shopping, I just pick up African Violet up and take it home. And I want to start getting a few more, build up a nice collection. Now, if you go through my videos, you will find that I've done some other videos on African Violets if you'd like to learn more. And there's certainly a lot of people on YouTube as well that do African Violets. So check it out. And uh, please like and subscribe and let me know if you have African violets. And we'll see you in the next video. God bless.